Hello everyone, Marek here, and in this video we're going to have a look at some of the AI features in Premiere Pro. And there are quite a few in here, in uh, no particular order, maybe partially in the order in which they appeared in Premiere, but not exactly this order. So you can just pick, there's actually quite a few AI features in Premiere Pro now, and we're going to have a look at some of them. Okay, so how about we start with the first one, uh, which is the scene detection feature. So I'm going to uh, take this video here. I'm just going to make a new sequence of this video here with a bunch of clips. Okay. And then we're going to right click on this video in here and scene edit detection. Now what this is going to do is it's going to apply a card at each detected cut point. So basically, with the scene detection, it's looking at your sequence, at your content. We deliver the CDs in here. It's going to analyze your sequence, the entire all the clips, all the clip on your timeline, and it's going to make a cut for every time where the clip changes. Uh, this video has a number of uh, videos in here. This uh, this was a sequence basically in Premiere, which I exported. And there's a number of cuts. There used to be a number of cuts in here uh, before that. But now it's just one video clip. So we're going to see what Premiere can do in here if it's going to find where the cuts used to be and if it's going to do it correctly. So it's analyzing the, the clips in here and it's going to make the cuts for everything. So we'll give it a moment so it finishes. Okay, it's finished. So let's have a look at this and let's see if it's made the cuts where they used to be. It's going to maybe mute this here, the audio, put on the audio. Let's keep this. So here. That's perfect. Here as well. And this one, let's have a look at the actual video. So here we've got just the video. So let's have a look at these. That's a cut. And here. And here as well. Oh, I didn't do this one. <laughs> No, I didn't with this one. This is just, this was just one shot, but this is a correct cut, yes. And this is all good. So in general, it's done a really good job, except this one here. The rest looked actually really good. So it's done a good job with the uh, syntaxion here. Okay. So let's have a look at the next one, number two. This is going to be the auto color correction. So this time I'm going to pick this video and I'll make a new sequence. But this needs a bit of work, for example, okay? So the clip selected, if we go to Lumetri Color Panel, in the basic color correction, we have this uh, auto color correction here. And this is going to use some AI technology, some of the Adobe Sensei, which is the AI technology, to perform some color correction here automatically. So instead of us adjusting the clips, it does it for you. I mean, this clip doesn't need a lot of work, but uh, that's one more example of the uh, using AI in Premiere Pro in here. Okay, for number three, where we're actually going to use a sequence, so number three is going to be auto reframe a sequence. Cool. Now, what auto reframe sequence does is it's going to change the aspect ratio of the sequence to different aspect ratio. We can start with uh, this video as an example in here, although it's always better with the sequence, or we could use this video as an example. And basically you find a sequence in your project panel. So there's a sequence in here, okay? 
we do move a little bit in here, okay. So on this sequence, we're going to right click, auto reframe sequence. And then you can choose the aspect ratio. So I'll go for square first. We'll keep the name as it is in here. I don't miss clips, no reverse this, motion tracking on the default as well. That's fine. And then we'll click create and it's going to create a new sequence here. We're going to try to keep people within the frame using AI. Uh, when you use auto reframe sequence, sometimes it may take a little bit longer and you may see a progress bar in the bottom right corner of the application frame here. Like here you go, it's analyzing now at the moment. Here you go. And it's shifted the clip as well. So now it's keeping the, say, the monitor and the person in the video as well. Then it's moving to keeping this person in the shot. Just mute this as well. And it's shifting again. Okay. Let's try another one. Uh, let's make a sequence from this video here. Again, we've got the people. So on the sequence, we're going to right click, auto reframe sequence. We'll go for square gain for now at least. It's going to try to keep the people in the frame. So let's just play this. Let's see. It's focusing on the man and the child and they perfectly within the frame. Okay. Now let's try one more, a portrait one. So on the same sequence, I mean the original sequence, we'll do auto reframe sequence again. And let's try vertical 9 by 16. Uh, let's have a look at this one here. We're well, going to keep the man within the frame and then the man and the child. Ooh. So it's doing a really good job. Now, auto reframe sequence creates a new sequence. You can see a new sequence in your timeline, a new tab for every time you run auto reframe sequence. And it's actually creating sequences physically that will be on the top level in your project here. This, this is the top level at the moment. And you've got this auto reframe sequences bin, which will create, contain all the sequences you auto reframed. So we've got all these sequences in here that we worked on at the moment. Auto reframe sequence is an amazing feature for social media. When you put together one sequence, you take your time, you make sure it's ready, and then at the end, when it's ready, you run auto reframe sequence on it to turn it into a different aspect ratio, and you choose the aspect ratio. So if you want to do horizontal 16 by 9 and square and vertical 9 by 16, you don't have to build three sequences anymore. You can just build one and then turn and then create the other two at the end to have three different uh, aspect ratio sequences. Okay, number four. Number four is going to be enhanced speech. So I'm going to use this video where I'm actually talking, uh, which is this one here. That's the dialogue. <laughs> you know, I want to tell more about uh, films, about movies, and I want to show it. Okay. And I'm going to go to Window, Essential Sound, and with the clip selected, let me just trim the start here. Maybe it's here. I'm going to clear this in and out. And let's just make it a bit shorter. It's more about the actual dialogue, so just shorten it. Okay, remove the gap here as well. So with this clip here, and with the clip selected, in the essential sun panel, it is enhanced speech. I'm going to connect first. What enhanced speech is going to do is it's going to adjust the audio or the dialogue to make it sound more like this would have been shot in a studio. So you have a better quality sound and louder sound. That's a really good job with sounds, uh, with some noises in the background as well. And just makes it sound like someone used a proper location, proper studio, and a good microphone as well. So for this video, I was using the microphone from the camera, yeah. which is okay. There's no noise in there, but we can make it sound better. So let's have a look at this. One, Lorex uh, here. And in this video, I want to talk more about uh, films, about lyrics. And I'm using this uh, video as an example because I also wanted to show you one more feature here. 
Um, this audio was recorded on a microphone connected to the camera, which is actually a mono microphone. So if I just turn this off in here and play it. I want to show it here. Even if you can't hear the sound properly, you can see in the volume meters that uh, the sound is actually coming out just from the left-hand side. Uh, common mistakes. Okay. When we run enhanced speech on that, it actually turns it into uh, kind of like a stereo, but the sound is coming out from the both speakers. Something that went wrong in built, and we're talking some. And even the sound sound does sound better. It's an improvement, and you can obviously adjust the mix amount here, how much, how high the level of enhance, how much enhancement you want to apply to the other clip. It's a great feature enhanced speech for making the sounds, uh, especially when people are talking, sound better. So they sound like studio recordings. Okay, the next one. Next one is going to be a remix tool. This one has been around for a couple of years now. So let's see if we pick a video. So maybe this one to make a sequence. And we'll, I've got some music here as well which I'm going to drop in timeline. And the music is way too short. It's much shorter than the actual video, the actual sequence, okay? So what we can do here is we can use Remix Tool to adjust the duration of the audio or the duration of the music specifically in here. So in the Tools panel, we have the Remix Tool in here this does use AI, and the remix tool. In this case, I'm going to extend this music to make it as long as the sequence. And because it's using AI and we can't fully control it, uh, your music, just so you know, your music may be a little bit shorter, a little bit longer than you want it to be. We can't fully control it. Oh, so it's a tiny bit shorter, but is the duration we want in here. Now, what what Remix Tool does is if you make the music longer, like I did here, it's going to repeat some parts of the music. If you make it shorter, it's going to uh, remove some parts of the of the music. And you can see what it's doing it with these squiggly lines in the timeline. So when I play this section here, I'm going to mute the other one, it just says just the music. You're going to hear some sound over and over again in here. So that's the Remix Tool where you can extend the music, you can, control, you can control the duration. So it sounds a bit like this, this one. Typically, in most cases, I would say, when you play the clip, when you look at the timeline where the squiggly lines appear, where the cuts have been made, in many cases, in most cases from my experience, you can't tell the difference so if you were just watching, listening to the sequence, you would even tell that there was some AI involved or there were some tools involved to make changes. It's amazing what it does in here, okay? Now, number seven, like the seven wonders of the world, number seven, <laughs> the last but not least, probably one of the best ones and the new addition to Premiere Pro, Generative Extend, which allows you to extend videos. So I'm just going to make a new sequence on this video here. I will get to extend it. So if you have a look at the end, this was here at the end. So at the end, we can see a little bit of the cast sticking out. Okay, so with Generative Extend tool, yes, that's fine. We get to extend it. Uh, at the moment, you can extend it by up to two minutes. Right? and it's going to make the video longer. It's an amazing feature. It does so uh, well. I tried it on this video before, and what always amazes me is, even though it's not perfect, it creates the rest of this car, so you can actually see this car here, like the entire car, and it's just mind-blowing what it can do, even though it's not perfect yet. I tried it a couple of times, and the rear of the car didn't look perfect. Uh, the rear lights didn't look quite right. But in general, it looked really, really, really good. And 
if you just need a little bit, if you just need a couple more seconds on the sequence, it makes it makes wonders. It, it does some amazing stuff in here, and it's a great feature. Okay, so let's see. Are you ready? Let's have a look at this. Now, <laughs> now this is amazing. I mean, this is probably the best so far. Obviously, uh, the car coming towards us, that's fine. I mean, this is perfect. That's easy, I would say. The size of the roads, they look great, you know. The biggest challenge here was this car. Now, let's have a look at this in maximize mode. See what this is going to look like. Well, in a way, I would say perfect, because if you were just watching this video, you wouldn't notice anything, right? You wouldn't be looking at this car on the left-hand side. And even though, yeah, it's not perfect, yeah, there's something here, and the front is a little bit long, but you wouldn't be pausing on the video, right? <laughs> okay, now let's try one more. So I have this other video here of the man and child. I'm going to make a new sequence from this one. And extend it again as well with Generative Extend tool. So, the, so towards the end, the man is kneeling down and the child is there. So this is the end of the moment. Well, I tried it again a couple of times. We tried it on one of the courses and on another course. And what happened in the past, I'm not sure what's going to happen this time, but what happened in the past, the man kept raising his hands and lowering his hands, his arms. So he kept doing this a couple of times, which is okay, I guess. But we'll see what it's going to look like this time, what we're going to get. But still, it's an amazing feature. Let's, are you ready? Let's have a look. Oh, something different this time. Actually quite good. You know, also like the way this bench was extended in the video here at the end. Although this doesn't look perfect, but still, okay. Right, so these are seven wonders of AI in Adobe Premiere Pro. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or if you enjoy using these features in Premiere. Um, thank you for watching. I'm Marek Mulacek from MarekMulacek.com and see you on another video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye for now.